How did we think it would be a good idea to strap a 3D printer to a truck and print in the middle of nowhere on dirt roads? Our machine's 100 pounds, it's made of steel, everything's built of aluminum, it's a strong machine, and it's fully enclosed and sealed. So being out there in the dirt and everything, even on the back of a truck, that amount of weight and that amount of rigidity should be able to handle printing effectively during an earthquake uh, or on the back of a truck. On the trail we got the fun mat ht right behind us in the bed of the truck all strapped down and uh we're printing some parts baby so if you're out in town uh or if you're in the middle of freaking nowhere you can rest assured that their fun mat is gonna perform the way it should every single time I was really impressed. Like, I didn't expect it to perform that well. It was almost like we were back at the shop printing. Not only is this machine rigid and strong and built from steel, but it can print parts as strong as steel when you're using Peak or Ultim or PPSU, or even the carbon fiber nylon blends are incredibly strong parts. I have to say today has been one of my funnest days in the industry. I can't remember the last time I went out and 3D printed parts while I was off-roading. <laughs> this really does show that this FunMat HT can take a beating. So until next time, have a positive day, guys.